In the last video, we spoke about how to shoot an interview. Most videos will need some form of B-roll to lay over the interview. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Welcome to the Film Look in episode 5 of the Video Production Guide. If you're looking for stylish transitions for your video, then check out Stanza by Rocket Stock. You'll be cutting from scene to scene like a pro. Link in the description. Capturing B-roll can be done in many different ways, but it will also depend on what type of equipment you can afford. And don't worry if you can't afford the best equipment now. Concentrate on the equipment you do own and make as much money with that as you can. But if you have a slider, use a slider. If your client needs a drone shot, price for a drone shot. But remember, if you only have a camera and a tripod, a well-composed shot always trumps the fancy ones. I play various instruments. I play uh, piano, guitar, bass, play a bit of ukulele. Just the odd thing, Any, anything that makes a note, I'll give it a go. B-roll doesn't just help you shape the interview or voiceover into a story. It also helps you hide the cuts you've made to the footage. B-roll will help hide unnecessary answers, pauses, ums and ahs. If you didn't have B-roll, the interview cuts would look like this. I thought it looked cool to be in a band. And then I got obsessed with the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson, and as a kid, like the Beatles, or George Martin who produced the Beatles. There are lots of different techniques when it comes to capturing B-roll, but each shot needs to represent what your client is trying to offer, sell, or promote. Slider. Clients love slider shots as the clean movement turns a boring conference room into something more interesting. With some distance between your subject and your background, you can create a parallax sliding effect which can really enhance the shot of a product or a piece of art. We have a video all about the camera slider on our channel. Drone. Just like a slider shot, they can be overused and 90% of jobs usually don't need them. Unless you have a passion for flying drones, budget in for a professional who already has their wings. It will save you time and money, as getting a drone pilot's license is expensive and time-consuming. If a client is asking you for a drone simply because it looks cool, let them know a solid story is always the better option. Achieving the film look is more than just fancy shots. Handheld. Handheld shots can help you move quickly and create dynamic shots. The cliche of video production handheld shot is following your subject walking. When shooting a busy event, there is never really a safe place to set up a tripod, so handheld is definitely the way to go. Slow motion. Slow motion is great to shoot if your subject in your frame is moving. Clients love it and it's really easy to do. Just adjust your settings from 24 FPS to, for example, 60, then double your shutter speed from 1 50th to 100th. Then you can half the speed of your footage in your editor. Take your time when capturing B-roll. At first it may seem like it's less important than all of the other footage, but the quality of your B-roll will make or break the final video. Be patient and do multiple takes if necessary. Don't overshoot. When you start to shoot videos, you will have a tendency to overshoot. It's not a bad thing, but you'll start to realise that the more you shoot, the more time you'll be sorting through the footage and the more storage space you'll need. If the final video needs to be two minutes, you don't need to be spending the whole day shooting B-roll. Whatever tools or techniques you use to capture your B-roll, remember that every shot needs to tell a story. Practice makes perfect and eventually you'll be able to just turn up to the location and know exactly what will look good because you've likely shot somewhere like that before. And remember, enjoy it. It might seem very stressful at the start, but just take your time and enjoy yourself. Thanks to Rocket Stock for sponsoring this episode. With over 200 exclusive transitions, their pack stanza can get your video looking great too. Check it out yourself by visiting rocketstock.com or via the link in the description. Let us know in the comments below how you shoot B-roll and if you have any tips. Also, if you have any questions, ask those too. Thanks for watching the film look and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.